Well, the valley wasn't hit by Harvey, but people who live here know it only takes one hurricane to change your life forever, and that's why many are joining forces to help out. CBS Horse Priscilla Estrada has more on the efforts. Dan, relief efforts have already started here in the valley to help people affected by Hurricane Harvey, and one of those efforts is called Operation Texas. Valley residents coming together to lend a helping hand after Hurricane Harvey left a path of destruction along the Texas coast. Anything extra you have around the house, anything that you could donate will be greatly appreciated by the victims of Harvey. There are millions that will be affected from this. Freeland started Operation Texas the day Harvey hit landfall, a movement to collect as many items as possible for those who will need it the most. We have over a dozen d collection points right now for Valleyites to bring supplies to this week because they're in need. Yeah, the water's still rising, the rain's still falling. They're going to need our help. Many businesses are opening up their doors to support the efforts here in the valley. One of those drop-off locations is Janine Marie Campbell's photography studio in Harlingen, who felt compelled to help. Um, Corpus Christi is already um, to the point where they're telling their citizens to boil the water and that was happening last night and so water is just going to become precious cargo for them. Many have already started donating items at some of those drop-off locations. I just wanted to share what we didn't need to those who needed it and I thought it was important to give back. One location that is seeing a huge turnout is Habitat for Humanity. Comfort items, they need uh, water, they need uh, um, toilet paper, uh, paper towels, just so many things that, that we take for granted. So um, we felt really compelled to join in in the efforts and to be a donation drop-off site, both at our McAllen location and also our Harlingen location. Breland adds that the items will be collected by a semi-trailer in the coming week and then be donated through the Salvation Army to the most affected areas. Those drop-off locations who are participating will be posted through our website. In the studio, Priscilla Estrada, CBS4News and ValleyCentral.com.